What is up you guys, my name is Anubi Pro, and today we're playing Worlds Adrift. Um, so I'm sorry if I'm not very energetic today, I'm actually very sick, I'm getting over a cold. Um, but basically this game is in like very very early access alpha, it's actually not available on Steam yet. Um, Potent and a Gym actually got me a code, um, so him and I could both record and put some stuff on our channel. He's actually, this isn't him, um, this is just a random person who spawned in the same area as me. But um... I spent a little time figuring this game out. Uh, it's more of like a basically just explore kind of game. Like you know, you gotta you gotta wander around and Jesus Christ, this place is big. This is a big island. But um, so basically, the whole premise of this game is to just you know enjoy exploring. Um, you can make like a little airship, so you could like I'm trying to think of how to explain it. Uh, like fly around to other islands and stuff and. You know, you can do lots of cool stuff. I actually have this gun that I crafted in a previous life. It kept my gun on me, but it didn't give me any ammo. So I can't shoot it. Um, but I still have it, you know, just in case. But I don't I don't really think this game is about killing people, which is a good thing, because there's too many games out there that do that. Um, but this game is more paying attention to the, you know, like the beauty, I guess, if you want to call it that. But literally the best part of this game is the grappling hook. It's so fun. Okay. I'm still kind of learning how to use the grappling hook correctly. Um, I'm just trying to do like a soft dismount. This might hurt me. Yeah, a little bit. Not bad. Um, but basically, we can start off by uh, <clears throat> cutting down these trees here. So basically, you want to just zap them. And they give you logs. I, I was under the impression it was supposed to break. I think it actually is supposed to. Be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I can save it. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, it almost brought me down with it. Okay. Don't worry about it. Not important. You just cut that another one and hopefully it falls the other way this time because we need uh we need wood to start working on a boat and stuff like that um and by a boat of course i mean like the flying kind of magical boats rather than the boats that actually are in water so when you shoot these they uh they basically just go magically into your inventory if i could hit this one okay like i said guys this is early access alpha so there's bound to be a lot of glitches and stuff um, a lot of stuff might actually change in the future, like like the grappling hook might not even be in the game at some point, but I don't know, I probably don't, I don't think, whoa, what the hell? Um, they probably won't remove that, though, because the grappling hook is literally the most fun part of the game, I absolutely love it. But I have never seen this before, this thing is cool. Oh, and there's somebody's little uh, workbench here that we can start uh, using, I guess. So, <clears throat> this is where you, like, build the stuff for your boat, so, like, all the parts for it. Um, panels is like the, you know, the deck, all that stuff. Uh, utilities, small storage crates, I'm sorry, that was my phone if you heard that. Um, not important. But the point is that, um, we gotta start making some stuff. I'm sorry, I walked into a wall. Uh, so, I wanna get out of here. Or at least out of it. Oh, wait, maybe not, because there's some stairs that lead down to a little bit. Maybe just this ledge. Um, this is really sketchy, I've never actually been over here. I wanna see if I can harvest this. No, okay. Um, so throughout my experience playing, um, it actually took me a while to figure out how to start crafting and how to get shit done, basically. Um, so I think it's shipbuilding. Yeah, you need an assembly station and a shipyard. So with the assembly station, you, you, can, you can't use any wood. You have to find materials. So last time I did that, I actually just kind of wandered around until I found a, ch a chest, because I think they do spawn randomly throughout the islands that you're on. Um, and it just had a lot of materials inside of them. But you can also find, or at least one time, I found a cave that had stuff. I actually don't know what these things over there do. Like this right here. I've tried zapping it. I've tried shooting it. I just can't figure out what it does. Um, but I don't know. Maybe we'll figure it out at some point. So I don't know how far I want to take this. I just kind of, oh, yeah. That's another thing is um, for some reason this game has okay FPS, I want to say. And then just randomly poops itself because it can't handle the fps um there are the things going on and it just crashes your fps so i actually have a really good computer but i'm still recording in 30 just because um i don't want it to look choppy i want it to look very smooth and if you record in 60 with not 60 fps it's very choppy looking but if you record oh there's a guy here i'm trying to think of what the the chat is i don't know the, the button um Hey. 
Okay, so he said that the lumps of cracked rock thing is correct, but he said it's underneath the island. Which I did read on the wiki, but I still don't understand how I'm supposed to find that. Like, you need to go directly underneath the, the island for this, so we're gonna have to, like, Spider-Man our way down. Don't hit the rock. Okay, I'm fine. I actually did knock myself out, so that's impressive. I guess when they say under, they mean, like, literally under. So this is actually fuel uh, for gathering, but not, um, th th these little white pouches aren't, uh, what's it called? Uh, materials, sadly. How do you find metals? Like, he said there's not a lot on this island, which is fine. I would just like to know where I could find at least one. It started on building something. I might actually have to suicide so that I can get to a better area to go to. Also, it looks like there's something over here. Hold on. What is that? I have no idea. Looks weird though, right? What the hell? Is that just like a glitched corner or something? I think I could attach to it. Oh, okay, I actually just almost quit it suicide. You know what? I don't see any cracked rocks underneath this uh, island. I think we're just gonna have to do it in three, two, one. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. The falling animation and stuff. I don't even know where you'd end up. There's like nothing below us at all. You just fall for infinity. But yeah, it's pretty much instant death when you fall. You can't really save yourself as far as I know. Well, this is the longest I've ever fallen in this game. Usually I die by now. Holy shit, this is a long fall. Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. I am in a spawn chamber thing. So now I can get back out. So I actually, yeah, I have my graphics set to low, which, I mean, I guess I could upgrade, but, but um, the reason I keep it on low is because... What the hell is down here? Ow. Okay. Anyway, the reason I keep it on low is because of the frame lag issue that keeps happening to me that I had said before. So this place actually looks a lot more promising. The fur and materials. Okay. Biography of Utopianist Zubin or something, I don't know. Uh, pirate flag, I'll take that. Oh, copper, yes, that's metal. Okay, so we can start doing things. A hunter's jacket, which I don't think I've seen yet. I kind of want to look see what that looks like on me. Unless this is a hunter's jacket. It is, okay. I'm just going to get rid of that then. I don't need a second one. But that's cool. Okay, so we found the stuff we need. I didn't actually mean to equip my um, grappling hook there. So, it looks like there's a lot of resources around here in this island, as barren as it looks. It looks actually very weird. Like, I've never seen an island like this in my life. What the hell are these? Are these trees? Can I collect this? I don't think I can. Whatever, not important. So, as I've said, I've only learned, like, the very bare minimum so that most of my reactions can be genuine for you guys. Okay, there's actually trees up there. Um, so... If you do know about the game, uh, then don't punch me in the face because I don't know. Because uh, that'll just get you frustrated. Uh, launch me. There we go. There we go. And launch me. Okay. And we should almost be up. Uh, launch me. And we're up. Okay. So we actually just got a lot of resources. I think somebody's actually building here already. <laughs> yep. Somebody lost a boat. That sucks for them. What the hell is this? Is this an egg? Not important. I guess it's nothing. Actually, maybe I can learn from it or something. Nope. No knowledge. Cool. Oh, this is a very weird island. I don't think I've ever seen a place. Is that the, that's the spawn point. This is just like a dome island on top of like a flat. I don't even know. This is cool, but weird. So I'm actually going to shoot my grapple here and then jump back down the grappling hook is so satisfying in this game i can't even like complain i mean as far as i'm concerned for a very very early access alpha this is a really good like well put together game <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> oh this is another chest too okay we got even more we have way more wood now uh we have clouds place one collect sure 
Uh, Ant-Men. We have a rare cannon, I'll take it. Learn some cannon nonsense. An exotic wing. Hmm. Can I put it in my inventory? Okay, there we go. Learn. And then... Lara King Headgear? I guess I have a description. Made from the padded and durable leather, bears the mark of the Lara King Company, essential for professional Lara players. I don't even know what that is, but that's fine. I want to see what it looks like. It might actually be the same thing I'm wearing. Nope, it is not, and it's kind of ugly, so I'm going to put my red hood back on. Uh, no. Okay. So we can actually start building now. Um, I guess we can just use this table that's here, because I don't feel like crafting a new one. But, anyway, once you get here, um... Oh, you can. Uh, there's a fuel gauge, I guess, now that you can that I can craft. Um, all of this stuff is actually different depending on what you find. Like how I just found the pirate flag and I found the rare cannons and stuff. Um, this like there's some stuff that's always gonna be in here, but there's some stuff that won't always be. Um, so you really just gotta you know know what you're looking for. But what we're looking for right now is the shipyard one. So we need casting casting or whatever skyship generator and docking mechanism so we just wasted a lot of our metal but we had to to make this thing so now we can craft it uh whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. can i cancel can i cancel can i can't I, I can i cancel i don't know if i can actually well i was gonna say if there's a ship on this island there has to be a table already made up and i probably could have saved that metal um whoopsie daisies i guess I don't see one though, I haven't seen any of those tables around here, so maybe there isn't. But I want to check underneath the island and see if people are just crazy or if there actually is rock. Oh, ooh, there's another chest here. Or see if there actually is rocks that spawn here. Oh, we got even more metal. Okay, so we got a bunch of lead, some hemlock uh, logs, some elm logs, and a random tin can, which I mean, <clears throat> I don't mind. Anyway. Oh, yeah, 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 look, there's one right there. A broken rock. Okay, so I can... This is the weirdest formation. Of oh, there's a bunch of them over here. Oh, no. Okay. I thought I was going to fall and cry because... Oh, look at what's down here. Holy crap. This is literally the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, You know what? I might either have to make more episodes of this or just play this a butt ton. Um, like right now because this is literally so cool. Just want to go back up uh there we go but yeah this game man this game is actually very interesting for an alpha most games that are in very early access alpha like most games would be like oh yeah we're an alpha um but you know i mean i get it they want you know oh god okay Whew. they want early support for their games and you can't really blame them because it's hard to make a game um and early access would be great can i can i get up please Oh, okay, I managed to shoot the ceiling. I thought I was actually going to be stuck down there forever. Anyway, um, that's my other thought. Uh, making alpha, or making a game in general is hard, but a lot of games milk the alpha thing just because they don't feel like finishing the game, but they want to release it. So they're like, oh yeah, it's an alpha, but we're never going to finish it. Um, that's games like Daisy. I swear to God, Daisy's never going to get finished. Um, but games like this and Miscreated, they're, they are genuinely an alpha, and, uh, those games are, you know, very fun to play. They get updated frequently. I actually don't know about this game. I literally ha haven't even heard of it until, like, a few days ago when Jimmy said, Hey, do you want to take part in this access? And I was like, okay, yeah, all right, I'll do it. Anyway, I'm going to put this down now. I actually really like the animation that they added for this when he put it down. So it's like, oh! What the hell? It didn't even do the animation, it just actually knocked me out. Okay, so what it's supposed to do is this is supposed to go down, and then it's supposed to fold out these little, like, trifold things, and this folds out, but instead it just knocked me out, and I'm at 63 health, but health regen slowly, so we're going to be okay. Um, so if we want to we wanna actually build a boat, we could go with a dinghy, it's actually very cheap. I'd like to go with a bigger kind of, but yeah, we, we definitely don't have those resources unless we can really get some minerals. The only thing is, I don't know how the hell we'd capture the minerals in the first place, so maybe we should just go with the dinghy <coughs> to get started. Um, so yeah, I'll throw this in here. The decks will be this, and we can start crafting our dinghy. Wait, actually, I don't, should I do that? I should do that, yeah. Uh, it's just, I'm a... Uh, 
There was one point where I kind of messed up and it was like being really awkward, but I'm gonna craft the dinghy. So there's that. Then I also have to craft a, an... I actually don't remember what it's called. It was like a sky something something. Yeah, scavenger sky core. So I gotta craft this too, which I need a lot of wood for. Um, let's use this. And I need some more of this. Actually, no, I can just use a 20. Uh, can I... There we go. Oh, no, wait, it's 20 or 30. Okay, so I actually have to use this. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we craft this, and then this will keep our ship afloat, as it says right down here, if you can see my cursor. You can't. My apologies. Um, the description says a basic anti-gravity core that will allow a ship to float. So basically, it holds the ship up with anti-gravity. I just call it friggin' black magic because it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, that's a very upset... Uh, oh yeah, so our ship is up there now. I can pick this up, and what I like to do with this is get on top of here... If I can. There we go. Okay, I just went right over the side. That's also fine. Uh, and I am almost in. There we go. Okay. And then I guess I could have just avoided that whole thing because I want to get to the top of this anyway. And I guess I could have just shot the ceiling to get up there. But there we go. So I like to put these on the top. Um, because, you know, it keeps the whole ship in place. You kind of, you need it, you know. But you don't want it to be like, a, that was the weirdest placement of this thing I've ever seen in my life. That's not even where I shot it. Um, but you know what? It's whatever. So I'm actually not going to waste my uh, metal on bullets because it's not necessary. So we have the assembly station, which is the thing I'm literally in or like next to right now. And then the shipyard. So we're okay with that. Um, what we're going to want to do now is... I'm making this up as I'm going along, by the way, I, if you couldn't tell. But I think we have to go to the panels. No, no, no. Utility, sail, wings. It was something like you have to use it to. You'd think it'd be an essential. Yeah, it is. I'm just dumb. Okay, so you literally have to have these to fly, which makes sense. Um, okay, I want to see what this is. Um, scavenger's helm. So the helm component for attaching to ships. This is needed for to pilot a ship. I think all of these are needed to actually make the ship. Um, drivable uh but what i uh i guess we're gonna start with the helm because that's the that's the driving part like that's literally you need that uh, oh i have just enough metal for this thank god actually no, i should do it the other way around i want to do it this way put that in there and put this in here maybe that's fine or can i afford to do it twice i can't sadly okay the only, the, what's annoying is that you can't actually mix metals into these crafting recipes. So you kind of just have to live with it. Or, like, you can't mix anything into these crafting recipes. It's like, if you use Elm, you can't use Helm Lock, and it's just, like, it's really annoying. But we're going to craft the Helm, or, yeah, the Helm, so that we can steer the boat. Um, this is as far as I've gotten in the building. I have not actually driven a boat yet. If you can say driven a boat. Um, I don't actually know if you can say that. But I guess we're finding out. So, I mean, I guess sailed is the correct term. But who cares about being correct, am I right? Anyway, I'm going to plop this on here. Boom. And then when you take control, you go into first person, you can drive it all around. You know, there's stuff like, like this. This is to control your speed, this lever here. I, I believe so. And this is how you steer. So you steer with the mouse, control with... Um, actually, I don't even think you steer. I don't even know. Because when you hold... A and D, I guess that's left and right, but this is like a rotational lock, and this is how you go faster or slower, I think. And then I don't even know what that blue thing over there is, but uh, we'll figure it out. So, I kind of don't have any more materials to make the rest of the stuff, do I? Try to think. So, shipbuilding. I think I actually have to come back over here. Alright, so crew reviver. Do I have what I need? I don't think so. I think I need the small fuel tank for sure, though. So I can plop that in there. Uh, I can put... Not that. I can put this in there. And then craft the fuel tank. And then if I have materials, I can make the crew reviver. But if I can't make the crew reviver, then we're just going to have to live with that fact. And we're going to have to try to get more metals. Which is going to be a mighty pain in the butt. For sure. Okay, that actually scared me. I was not prepared for that to just fly out of the sky. I mean, I know it does it literally every time, but it's just scary to me. It's not scary, but okay. I didn't mean to actually hook to that. Um, 
I want to go back on top of the boat. Uh, maybe, uh, should I go on top? Or, no, no, I kind of have to go on top. Unless I make, like, a, like, more panels, which I might very well do. But, I mean, the top is so spacious for now. We can always move this stuff later on. So, I'm just going to put this, like, can I, I'll put it in the back here. Like, so, okay. So, now we can refuel it if we have fuel in our inventory, which I don't know if we actually do. Um, but there's plenty of fuel around here. Refuel the zero units of fuel. Okay. Um, you know what? It's alpha. I was going to complain and say, why would you let me refuel it if I don't have fuel? But they'll probably add a cancellation for that at some point. So we actually need to start harvesting these pods for fuel now. Thank you. And thank you. Okay. So that's 25. Wait, what is this? I don't know if I can do anything with this. Let me see if I can maybe... Oh, I gained knowledge from this. Okay. I didn't even know that was actually a thing. I just wanted to see if I could scan it or something. Okay. Not complaining. Uh, what was that? I was going to keep this on. So yeah, I need to find more of those fuel pods, which actually looks... No, these are purple. The purple ones, I just don't even understand what they're supposed to be used for, but the white ones, they make sense. Um, so here's where things are going to get tricky, right? I have to do this. I almost didn't make it up last time. Never mind this time. And I got a... Okay, yep, there's one right there. How the hell am I going to make this? Okay, do this. Come over here. We swing back and forth. This is the craziest island I've ever seen in my life, and I want to keep it because it's so cool. Uh, we just got to get right up to here and hope we don't get... Uh, this is really disorienting that I'm still swinging, even though I'm trying to stop myself. Uh... Okay, get on the wall if you can, please. Uh, no. Okay, I tried. Well, we gotta get this now. This is probably not gonna end well. Uh, it fell into the abyss of nothing. Whatever, we got 16 fuel, it's fine. Alright, on to the next, which is right here. That's the wrong button. Okay. I actually meant to... Uh, 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 ah, there we go. Okay. This is really hard. <laughs> Like, you'd think this is easy. It's like, ah, it's probably super easy. It's a video game. You just, you just press buttons and do the controls. This is literally the hardest thing I've ever done in my life besides math. Um, this might as well be its own friggin' course in math, honestly. Probably is. And I'm just dumb. But, you know what? So be it. Uh, okay. I need to zap you. Zap. 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 Oh, I got it. Nice. I got the extra before it fell. I want to find out what's down there. So I'm going to kind of YOLO over there. Oh, 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 please don't hit me. And swing. And be careful. Lower yourself, lower yourself. What the hell is this place? It looks like the friggin' Great Wall of China. Oh, maybe this is a spawn point or something? Whoa, please. Okay, I'm fine. I'm actually surprised that didn't do damage to me. Oh, I'm kind of standing on this ledge. This is like... Holy crap. I actually made it. I'm legitimately surprised that I actually made that. I don't even know how I'm going to get back up now, but I got more fuel. So that's always good. Uh, here we go. Thank you. Oh, somebody already made one of those little things down here. Okay. Well, wish I had known that like five minutes ago. Can we get inside of this from the top or something? No, this is just like an erect penis monument, and I don't know what it's for. There's like a little dock here? Can I- is there anything below here? Maybe. Yeah, I guess there's stuff below here. Nothing that I want to risk my life for. So, I'm just gonna go back up. And... yeah. So, uh... And there we go. Nailed it. Oh, nice. So I actually kind of want to climb if I can. I think we have enough fuel, right? How much fuel do I have? 107, that should be fine. Oh, I gotta like aim up there. Yeah, this is this is like a monument or something that like collapsed. This is honestly the lore or whatever. I don't, I mean, I'm sure this game has lore. I just haven't read up on it. If you look up on the wiki, you could probably find it. But um, this game is honestly super cool. Like, I don't know if it's about like magic or if it's about like distant, uh, you know, like, life in the skies or something or like don't know what the hell this game is about but i love it and it's super good especially for an alpha that literally has 
As far as I know, like, I'm not trying to trash talk this game. As far as I know, this game has almost no content. Um, so far, it seems end game is just build the best boat you can build, and we're already starting to build our first boat. So it can't be that hard to just, you know, slap some parts on it at the end. But it's still a very cool concept, uh, and, and they're obviously going to add more content to it. Uh, and I'm excited to see what they're going to bring, especially since now I own the alpha. They'll probably give me the rest of the codes, too. Um, or at least just let me update it for free because, you know, I got it. Um, I don't know if Potent Gym actually bought this for me. Um, but either way, if it was free or if he paid money, I want to say thank you to him because that was awesome of him to do. And, oh, oh, there's a rock here. Hold on. Ah! Okay. Uh... Yeah, I don't trust myself having the rock, like, having my grappling hook on the rock, because I know the rock's gonna break when I zap it. This is so sketchy. Oh my god. What the hell was that? Did I get anything from that at all? I don't think so. How the hell? I don't even know how these things work. Whatever, not important. We almost have a boat working. That was my goal for today. Oh god, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I almost landed on top of the boat. That would have been so cool. <laughs> Never, not important. Um, Let's do this. So we got the fuel tank. That's what actually what we were doing was refueling the tank. Tried to get some more resources. Didn't go too well. Me up. And boom. Okay. So let me refuel now. I should have plenty of fuel. I don't know if my boat's making that noise. It's a pretty weird. Okay, so refueled with 100 units. I still have 32 extra. That should be fine. Um, and then maybe, can I drive it now, or do I need sails? Do I need extra stuff? I think that's all just for decoration, having sails and stuff. I think this is all the stuff that's actually mandatory to have for this boat to run. So let's get up here and see if we can do it. Okay, probably. That was the most awkward noise I've ever heard in this game for landing on something like not correctly you can just take control and then not take control and then take control again so can i drive it i don't think so how the hell do you turn this thing on is is the spawn point really necessary for this thing to run it said essentials and i didn't think they were serious about the crew reviver uh maybe i have enough no i don't i definitely don't have enough damn it if only you could combine if I could combine, I'd be all set, but I cannot. This makes me sad. Can I, like... No, I don't want to destroy it. Damn it, if only I had 50. If I had 7 more copper, I'd be all set. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, so, essentials. Panels, this is not... Ne this is All this is not necessary, I don't think. The fuel gauge is to see how much fuel is actually on your boat. Sails, just to look cool. Wings are just to look cool. I really think we actually, because we have the scavenger's helm, that's how we drive it. We don't have this. We have that so that it floats. And we have this so that we can, you know, access fuel. This, uh, this, however, we don't have, and I'm so close to getting it, but it's those freaking ores down there. I just don't know how to collect them. So unless there's another chest that miraculously has a lot of ore in it, or if there's some ore under here that might be protruding, um, I'd love to Live to know. But as far as I know, don't think there is any. Unless maybe there's like a secret chest somewhere. Uh, uh. Okay, well, I guess for now we're going to have to end the episode. Um, I actually have somewhere to be, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed part one, maybe there'll be a part two. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll just add that to the end of this clip, and this probably won't even be the end of the episode. But if it is, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, comment, favorite, share, and subscribe if, to become part of the animation today. Let me know down in the comments below if you want me to play more of this game, if you want this to become a regular series, or if you just want me to, you know, make update videos or post more when there's new content. Uh, let me know if you want to finish the boat, if you want me to make a custom boat. Stuff like that. So anyway, thank you guys. See you next time. Peace.